It has come down to this. Uh, recently, the prices of the NVMe drives are plummeting down and this product right here sounds quite appealing in those terms, right? So in play comes Asus Store with their two models. We have 6 bay and 12 bay NVMe uh, NAS storage system. As you can see right here, this is the 6 bay model right here. So we're going to talk about today and really in depth about the Asus Store Flash Store 6, this is FS6707T. What are the specs features and what it can do, what it can store and all the other information that you really need to know about this product if you're considering about it, you'll find out in this video. Today we're also going to have 6 NVMe drives, these are APACER PP3348. These are specially designed NAS SSD for endurance. So the two terabytes uh, go up to 4,000 TBW and one terabyte goes up to 2,000 TBW. Unfortunately, I don't have all six in two terabyte versions. I have five in two terabyte and one in one terabyte. So I'll try to go with just one terabyte being as a single and the other five in RAID 5 just to check out everything and to give you more information what it can be done right here. So let's jump into details. In the Asus Store Flash Store 6, the FS6706T, we have quad core 10 nanometer Intel Core N5105 CPU, can store up to 6 M.2 NVMe SSDs, has dual super fast 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports, 4 gigabytes of DDR4 2933 MHz RAM, which is expandable, dual USB 3.2 generation 2 ports, HDMI 2.0B, SPDIF output for outstanding sound quality. 4K hardware transcoding and it supports Wacom 1 and Wacom LAN. Okay, so the main feature gives us an idea what's it all about, but it doesn't end there, so let's start. Uh, let us begin with the design and everything around it. Since we're talking about NVMe drives stored inside, we're talking in general about a slim design compared to the regular 3.5 inch storage solutions, which bring us to the point that you could, if you wish and need it, carry it around on your trips, specifically for creators with the weight of it only 135 kilos, which includes power adapter and cables. The design is a bit sharp on the corners, but it is easier to carry your storage like this than grabbing uh, some massive storage that definitely won't fit in your backpack. Now to take a look around it. On the front we have one USB 3.2 generation 2 port and on the right top side there are four indication lights. On the sides we have openings for better ventilations and when we go to the back where all the ports are located, we have Kensington Lock, SPDIF, two USB 2.0, two 2.5 gig LAN ports, HDMI 2.0B, another USB 3.2 generation 2, hidden reset button and a DC power input. The interior looks is just a regular PCB board that supports up to six 2280 form factor NVMe drives and we have loads of cutouts to help the airflow for cooling the M.2 SSDs to prevent thermal throttling. But we will get to the cooling part while I do the benchmarks, of course. The other side of the motherboard can be accessed by removing two screws which release the top. There you can find the single DDR4-2933 module that is upgradable to 16GB in 2x8GB variant. But also there's an option with uh, just adding one 8GB memory module so you'll have 12 gigs in total. It's up to you, of course, to decide. The larger model or the bigger brother that supports up to 12 M.2 NVMe SSDs also comes with 4 gigabyte DDR4-2933 memory module. So in those terms of memory modules, with the speed of the NVMe storage, adding more memory wouldn't impact much on the performance, but regardless to that, it's definitely nice to have more options and not to be limited what comes from the factory or in the box, right? Also, since we are in the design segment of the video, <laughs> I have to mention the lights it has and what blinks and whatnot. On the right side of the flash store uh, FS67, you have a power on button that lights up in red LED as well as some lines on both sides of the button. Kinda cool and gives uh, more to the visual aspect even though for some it might not be even important. Now when we go and dive into specification segments, since it doesn't say anywhere what the limitations are, when it comes to storage size you can store up to 6 8TB NVMe SSDs if you wish, since those are the largest that currently exist. That means in RAID 5 you can manage 40TB of available storage with 8TB which is used for protection. 
When it comes to 2.5 gigabit ports, I think they went with these ones on 6 bay version because it's more approachable for standard home or Soho users. Also, even 2 times uh, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports are more affordable than the 110 gigabit port on the FS6712X model. You can also upgrade with 5 gigabit Ethernet adapter through USB 3.2. But taking into consideration the investment, maybe it would be a better option to go immediately with the FS6712X. Next up, you can also connect printers directly to it. So for uh, small businesses, this could be a great thing because they don't uh, take much bandwidth to be accessed over the network, right? Talking about implementation and where it could be good for usage, except for travels, for media creators, as I mentioned already, home users in general and small businesses, HDMI makes it good solution for Plex and streaming services. Performance on the other hand is also quite solid because it includes a beta support for SMB multi-channel, which in other terms allows a single client to get all the bandwidth if they are connected with the both 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports. What Asus Store tested in RAID 5 with 6 IronWolf 525 of 2TB of storage is 590 megabytes per second read and 583 megabytes per second write. With a single 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, you can go up to 275 megabytes per second. You can always pump up those speeds with adapters from USB as already stated, but then again, it's really not a cost efficient uh, solution. Now let's check out the speeds what I got and as I already stated at the beginning I'm going to test out five of these APACER PP3348 of two terabytes of storage because one is one terabyte and I'm going to try to divide that by doing those five in write five and one in a single so let's see if that kind of works could you be able to create uh, two fields or two divided sections in the Asus store, so it will be quite interesting. So let's check out the speeds first. Before we go into speeds and thermals and everything else, uh, let's go with the Asus store, Flash store 6 and adjustment. Uh, as you can see immediately, you can um, do a live Asus store update and here we go, system initialization, you can choose the light or dark mode. And when we're going to system settings, you can use uh, optimized settings or you can manually configure the settings step by step. Next in line, you have to enter your account name and password because the two administrator accounts are automatically disabled, adjust the time and date. And after that, if you want to place a static IP address, you can do that as well. Checking out basically the free IP addresses in your router and that's it. Now let's create the right five field with five uh, two terabyte drives. Of course, I made a mistake here. First, you have to select the right five and then select the SSDs which gives you automatically the total capacity that you will get. You can choose between EXT4 and BTRFS. Uh, since I'm not going to use any snapshots, let's go with EXT4 and you need to confirm and that you understand everything above. So it starts the in initialization. Of course, in this process, it takes some time to initialize the whole uh, volume, but uh, what you can do is um, close it at least what i did because it really took a while and as you can see it this part of the video has been speed up by quite a lot and it really does take uh some time so i would leave it during the night to synchronize the all drives all together and to basically create the volume with your storage inside the asus store nas now let's go to the asus store data master which immediately opens up in your web browser. And here we can see that uh, you can create a shared folder or basically a folder that you will access from your Windows Explorer, which will give you access to your files if you want to keep the files over there. So you go and create a folder, then you add the name, of course, you can decide whatever you wish. So just for the reference, I'm going to use Asus Store and description. The size is always quite okay, but even though in the Windows Explorer, you can see the size. And uh, that ends up uh, as it is when we're talking about saving up. I would just recommend removing the recycle bin if you uh, don't intend to just in case have a backup if you accidentally delete something. Uh, then you can adjust the read write permissions on the folder and this is quite cool because it gives you summarize summarization of everything at the end basically that's it you finish it up right after this you can create notifications that are sent from your email to your email 
with Asus Store, which gives you some notification about critical situations, warning situations, warning issues. Now, this is good in terms of failed drives, uh, overheating, or any problems that might occur. Then we have Activity Monitor, where you can navigate and check out the overview, CPU temperatures, memory temperatures, uh, usage, uh, network usage, uh, drives, and iSCSI as well. When we're talking about the apps, of course, I'm going to use the APACER Smart Tool, but you have loads of applications going from business to personal use to everything else, which comparing to some other brands, these applications aren't in beta versions in terms of usage, compatibility, and of course, in functionality. Now, in Storage Manager, what you can see is that you can additionally create the volume. So currently, I'm going to create that second volume that I was talking about, which I have one terabyte of additional NVMe. Going to create a single just for the kicks and uh, leave it as it is. So we're going to have write 5 with uh, 5 2 terabyte drives and we're going to have a single with 1 terabyte drive. So you can actually do that. It's really outstanding because it works separately and you'll have two divided storages. Fan speed went up to 1000 RPMs, the system temperature is 45 degrees and the CPU temperature is 60. Well, as you can see, all five SSDs have a certain load. So we have the first SSD going up to 43 degrees, uh, next three are on 41 and the last one is at 38. Of course, the, when the transfer ends, uh, the thermals go down. In those terms, when we're talking about the speeds, there is no point in going higher with the M.2 SSDs. For instance, like Gen 4x4, because the Intel Celeron N5105 has 8 PCI lanes, which some are taken up with USB and LAN ports. So in the worst case scenario, each NVMe drive will use a single PCI 3.0 lane. Now for one thing I do have to mention, there is going to be a noise level. And you'll be shocked and surprised because after all, we are talking exclusively about flash drives, right? And there is nothing here that could create noise, except we have to have airflow, right? Through the chassis going from front to the back and everything else. So we have a fan inside that is connected to the main board with the USB. I think it's 2.0 or something, but it doesn't really matter. The USB is used exclusively for the connection, for the power actually, for the fan. Now, the decibel range, what they stated is 18.7 decibels, which is really, really nice. Silent, and I would say quite, um, unnoticeable because if we compare the asus store fs67 to a regular nas those can get louder depending on the brand the manufacturer and stuff like that but they could get louder and not to mention the hard drives with mechanical movements and disc spins which could create additional noise and when we're talking about consumption uh, when it's in operation it goes up to 18.2 watts while in the sleep mode only 0.83 watts Operating temperature is from 0 to 40 degrees Celsius. Now the Flash Store FS67 comes with SPDIF over Toslink, so you can enjoy the high quality sound combined with RON or high res player. Hardware transcoding in 4K. We have real time 10 bit 4K H265 hardware transcoding. You can also expand the storage in terms of connecting an AS6004U uh, expansion unit to the USB 3 ports. For instance, you need some more raw capacity and don't want to waste the NVMEs. Flash Store enables that with ease. And I think you already noticed how uh, Asus Store functions and works all together. Now, regardless of the old creative side where this FS67 helps out for, this NVMe NAS can also be used to store games on iSCSI drive, which helps expand storage for a PC, no doubt. So why iSCSI? Right. Uh, the iSCSI uh, shows on your PC as a local drive, and this is what gives you the ability to install the games on there and uh, give the ability to access them quite easily. Usually the cloud or network uh, drives, you won't have that possibility. In these terms, we can do that. We also support for Firefox, Chrome, Safari and Edge, but we also have link aggregation which supports uh, 802.3 AD and 6 other modes for load balancing, TCP, IP, IPv4 and V6, Jumbo Frame, VLAN, Ease Connect, DIN DNS and Ease Router. Uh, support file systems for internal drives is ext4 and btfrs. I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning, but supported M.2 volumes are single, just a bunch of disks, write 0, 1, 5, 6, and 10. 
So I didn't mention all the security support system administration, backup, snapshot and all the other stuff. I'll link their official website in the description below so you can check out all the necessary information regarding that part because it's really loads of information to mention in the video and I already noticed that this video is going far too long. So yeah, check the link for the additional information regarding all the support that uh, Asus Store, Flash Store 6, FS67 can support. All in all, I would say a quite handy NAS. Especially if you're on the go and you need to have massive storage with you and you don't want to carry your workstation with you, which could come up really heavy. Connect it to your MacBook Pro because it supports SMB3 and you have two portable devices with massive storage, fast editing machine and you're actually good to go. The current price for this model is around some, I would say 450 to 500 euros, while the 12 NVMe model is almost 800, I would say. Uh, filling it up with, for instance, 6 APACER NAS SSD Endurance PP3480 2TB NVMe drives that are designed for NAS drives, as I already stated, they are Endurance SSDs with 4000 TBW, would cost you $280 per drive. If you go with regular NVMe drives with Gen 3 times 4 because they are Gen 3 times 4 but they are more on the endurance side designed for NASs, that's why we have that high TBW. But regardless to that, uh, if you go with regular NVMe drives Gen 3 times 4 the cheapest version would be around 100 euros with APACER AS2280P for u model. So adding up everything for more professional approach it would cost you around $2000 but with the regular SSD it would cost you a thousand dollars. So to conclude everything, first of all I would like to say that uh, this Asus Store Flash Store 6 FS6707 t deserves a PC Crazy approved badge and a PC Crazy creative badge because if I'm not mistaken I haven't seen a NAS that is dedicated to NVMe drives, right? So that's something definitely new and uh, quite appealing I do have to say regardless to everything. Uh, you can't use the maximum speed of the NVMe storage drives uh, even with the lower model like Gen 3 times 4 but comparing this NAS that can handle 8 terabyte SSDs, 6 of those or the bigger brother 12 of those or maybe in the future even more like higher capacity comparing the prices a bit and then realizing that carrying hard drives with you in a heavy duty work well basically this is where the flash store FS6706 shines not to mention the prices of the NVMe constantly dropping. This might be a good start for a smaller or more convenient storage solution. But for the right speeds using the maximum out of NVMe drives, I think we will have to wait for other things uh, when we're talking about the prices to drop, like the Ethernet ports, right? So yeah, there's that factor. Uh, as already stated, PC Crazy approved and creative badge just because all of the things that I mentioned and uh, to be honest it's quite nicely designed. It does have a bit of a weird shape if you really decide to carry it in your backpack but if you have it placed on the side it's quite cool and you could use it for various other uh, stuff except for what I mentioned so yeah it's all up to you to decide what it is going to be suitable for you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this a uh, bit of an extended version, a bit of an extended video and in-depth details, uh, especially when we go into speeds, thermals and of course the application behind supporting uh, the whole Asus Store, uh, Flash Store 6 FS67. So yeah, that's it. The links for the Asus Store, Flash Store 6 FS67, I know it's a bit longer name but still, is in the description below so you can check out the price and the availability and finally if you like the video and this type of content as well as the others uh, don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and click the notification bell so you can see future content coming right up thank you for watching it means a lot see you next time guys bye bye